Hello, everybody, and welcome back to BioSC 140 Human Physiology. I am making this video as a Q&A video. Yesterday, I posted an announcement, and I said, if you have any topics you want me to talk about, any questions you want me to answer the day before your first lecture exam, let me know, and I'll answer them. Nobody asked me any questions. Nobody asked me to talk about any topics. So I'm going to make this a short and sweet video with just some advice from what I've noticed about the first test over the last four years. First off, format. It's 50 multiple choice questions, two points each. You have around about, yeah, you have two minutes a question. An hour and 40 minutes, 100 minutes total, two minutes a question. You have to study, you have to be prepared in order to do this test fast enough. Now, I know it's possible because this is how much time students get in live classes. So I know it's possible because I've seen students do it in front of me. So make sure you study. You're gonna have, with, with our checkups, it's, we, ha we don't have a time limit on our checkups. So you can take your time and really think about things. You need to keep it moving with the test. Don't run out of time. Two minutes a question, study, be prepared, work efficiently, work efficiently. Uh, my next bit of advice, I find that students often overlook the first couple lectures. Like they feel like the review material isn't important. The review material is definitely important. There are questions on basic chemistry. There are questions on cell biology. So what is a mitochondria? What is a nucleus? There are questions on chemical bonds and molecules. Make sure you review all of that material because there are questions on it. A lot of times students overlook questions from the first day. Questions from the first day. Questions on things like emergent properties. Questions on things like the different systems in physiology. Uh, questions on things like uh, form and function. So be prepared for those first day lecture questions. Be prepared for basic chemistry. Be prepared for cell biology. As well as being prepared for the stuff that students usually prepare for, the stuff that I'd consider a little bit tougher stuff. Um, because, oh, hey, Moose. Moose came to say hi. Um, so be prepared for all of that. There, Moose will help you study. Say good luck, Moosey. <laughs> Say good luck, Moose. All right, uh, back to topic. Get lots of rest the night before. Have a glass of water next to you. Be ready to work fast and efficiently. It's two minutes a question. Um, the next thing that I feel like students probably miss the most points on is osmicity and tonicity. So make sure you look over those slides again. Make sure you go through the osmicity tonicity worksheet that's posted. And make sure you go over the group problems that talk about osmicity and tonicity. So of the non-review things, that is usually where students miss the most points. Beyond that, when you study, make sure you pay attention to vocabulary words because it is really easy to write questions on vocabulary words. Um, if any questions come up in the next 24 hours about the exam, please let me know. 
Uh, I probably won't make a video response, but I can, I can do email responses if I feel like it's a question that the entire class might benefit from. You know, I might answer it in an announcement. So, you know, remember, I'm here to help you. Um, help me help you succeed on this exam one. We're going to get through this, this semester together. Good luck studying.